Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestant. Player one. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Good luck to you in the Jeopardy round. For this game, the categories are as follows. Literary characters. Words. Top 40 hit makers. I beg your pardon. Do the math. And drink it, dance it, or drive it. Okay, let's get back into this. Player one, you make the next selection as we continue. In A Christmas Carol, the ghost of this dead partner is the first spirit to visit Scrooge. Okay, player one. Correct. <laughs> Player one, back to you for our next selection. In A Scandal in Bohemia and other early stories, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle gave this physician a wife, Mary Morstan. We're talking about Dr. Watson. We return to you, player one. Let's take it over to Sarah. John Tenniel depicted this Lewis Carroll title character in 1865. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! <laughs> we return to you, Player One. The invaders in this H.G. Wells novel are described as having tentacles and a peculiar V-shaped mouth. Here's the response we were looking for. The War of the Worlds. You again, Player One. Ivan Petrovich Voynitsky is the title character of this 1899 Chekhov play. Here's the correct response. Uncle Vanya. Player one. Pick again. If you say, I'm eating a hot dog with this, you could mean a chopped pickle topping or just plain enjoyment. Player one. Good. <laughs> Select again. Chat about this in your chat room. Chat is merely a shortened form of this seven-letter word. Yes, player one? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Player one, choose again. This name for a work of art that you may carve in art class comes from the Latin for to carve. Player one? Yeah. That's right. Way to go. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. The name of these small towers often seen on castles comes from the old French for small towers. Here's the response we were looking for. Turrets. We return to you, player one. From the Latin for almost last, it means, hmm, next to last. Okay, player one. <laughs> you again, player one. 1230, young girls are coming to the canyon and California dreamin'. Here's the response we were looking for. The mamas and the papas. Please pick again, player one. Brother Love's Traveling Salvation Show and Sweet Caroline. We're talking about Neil Diamond. Player one, choose again. What would you say? And crash into me. Here is what we wanted. The Dave Matthews Band. Please pick again, player one. Saturday Night Special and woo, free bird. Here is what we wanted. Leonard Skinner. You again, player one. Harry Truman and 25 or 6 to 4. Here's the correct response. Chicago. Player one, you pick again, please. Gerald Ford issued 382 pardons, but the one issued to this man in 1974 
is said to have cost Ford the 1976 election. Okay, player one. That's it. <laughs> player one, pick again. In 1994, he was pardoned for leading a coup versus the president of Venezuela. By 1999, he was the president. Yes, player one. You again, player one. Answer, it's the Daily Double. And you're in the lead now. You need to select your wager. Here is your clue. In 2001, she was pardoned for a 1974 armed bank robbery and for using a firearm during a felony. Oh, sorry. Here's the correct response. Patty Hearst. Player one, back to you. The Wall Street Journal wanted an immediate pardon for him after his perjury conviction in the Valerie Plame case. We're talking about Scooter Libby. Please pick again, player one. This Secretary of Defense was pardoned for his role in Iran-Contra. Here's the response we were looking for. Casper Weinberger. Player one, pick again. 39xy divided by 3x equals this. Player one. Sorry. Here's the correct response. 13Y. Player one, you pick again, please. Add 20, 21, and 22. Multiply by three, and you get this. Okay, player one. <laughs> that is correct. We return to you, player one. Negative four times negative four times negative two times negative two equals this. Yes, player one. Right. Please pick again, player one. If 7x plus 5 equals 40, x equals this. Yes, player one? Right. Yeah. <laughs> player one, back to you. From the Greek for stretch, it's the term for the longest side of a right triangle. Yes, player one? Right. Yeah! <laughs> you again, player one. Cabriolet. Yes, player one? No, that's not right. Here's the response we were looking for. Drive it. Player one, choose again. Hambo. Okay, player one. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. Player one, back to you. Kirsch. Okay, player one. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. Trabant. Yes, player one? Good for you. Here's the $1,000 clue for you. 
Wapala. Player one? Nope. Here is what we wanted. Drink it. The Jeopardy round will begin right after this. And we have two daily doubles awaiting you in these categories. Vocabulary. Amelia Earhart. Sitcom supporting characters. Key to the city. Sea life. And literary characters. All right, if you're ready, it's double jeopardy time. The name of this extinct critter comes from words meaning terrible lizard. Okay, player one. That's right, way to go. Player one, back to you for our next selection. This term for a mechanical human comes from a Czech word for forced labor. Let's hear it, player one. Ooh. Sorry, that's wrong. Here's the correct response. Robot. You get to pick again, player one. Bumbershoot is Brit speak for one of these. Here's what we were looking for. An umbrella. We return to you, player one. He's an angel is a metaphor. Smart as a whip is one of these comparisons. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> that is correct. Player one, you pick again, please. The name of this science is from the Greek for the study of animals. Player one. Good. <laughs> Player one, choose again. Amelia's first plane was bright yellow and named for this songbird. Yes, player one? Yeah! That's right, way to go. <laughs> you again, player one. In June of 1928, Amelia became the first woman to fly across this body of water, though she was only a passenger. Okay, player one? That's yeah. correct. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. Answer. The first of the two daily doubles. You are in first place. So, what's your wager? And the clue. In 1935, Amelia flew solo in about 18 hours from Wheeler Field in this state to Oakland, California. Oh. Oh, so that's Here's the response we were looking for. Hawaii. You again, player one. On her last flight, Amelia Earhart took off from this large island. Here's the correct response. New Guinea. You again, player one. Amelia was promised her independence when she married a member of this prominent publishing family. The correct response is Putnam. Player one, you pick again, please. Rock me, Ann B. Davis. Ms. D played housekeeper Alice Nelson on this sitcom from 1969 to 1974. Player one? <laughs> you are correct. Player one, back to you. On this sitcom, Oscar Nunez is Oscar, Creed Bratton is Creed, Angela Kinsey is Angela, and Rain Wilson is Dwight. Here's the correct response. The Office. We return to you, Player One. This sitcom's Niles. I have a session with my multiple personality. The correct response is Frasier. Select again. One of the many supporting folks on this animated show, student Ralph Wiggum, said, Me fail English? That's impossible. It's player one. Oh. That's not it. Here's the response we were looking for. The Simpsons. 
player one. Pick again. Randy, Crabman, and Willie, the one-eyed mailman, supported this NBC show. Here's the response we were looking for. My name is Earl. Player one, back to you. Check out the key of Karakoy in this city, known as Constantinople during the Byzantine Empire. Here's the correct response. Istanbul. Select again. Government building on Lambton Key in this New Zealand capital is one of the world's largest wooden buildings. Here's the correct response. Wellington. You get to pick again, player one. A large stone key built by the French in 1780 is still used in Port-au-Prince, its capital. Okay, player one. <laughs> Here's the correct response. Haiti. Select again. We wonder whether a steamroller was used to form the many keys of this German city chartered in 1607. Here's the correct response. Mannheim. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Answer. The other daily double. You are in first place. Player one, give us a wager. The clue. Circular key is a hub of transportation and tourism in this city. Correct. Player one, you pick again, please. This herring-like pizza fish is attracted by light, so it's fished at night. Okay, player one. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. Woo. Player one, pick again. Sarah will present this clue. Sad to say, walruses as well as elephants were often hunted to get this valuable material. It's player one. Yeah. You are correct. <laughs> we return to you, player one. The skin of an octopus contains cells called chromatophores that allow it to do this when excited. Let's hear it, player one. Correct. <laughs> player one, you pick again, please. Shovel, slipper, and spiny are species of this creature of the order Decapoda. Player one. Ooh. Nope. Here's the response we were looking for. The lobster. Please pick again, player one. This white whale related to the narwhal is the only whale that can bend its neck. Okay, player one. <laughs> right you are. You get to pick again, player one. Had a whale of a time in 1851. Pequod problems. Call him this narrator. Here's the response we were looking for. Ishmael. Please pick again, player one. Famous foundling. Sykes himself out. Title taught. Here's the response we were looking for. Oliver Twist. Player one, choose again. L-A-P-I, okay? Chambler's champ slept big, and his goodbye was long. Here's the correct response. Philip Marlowe. We return to you, player one. Time traveling Dresden dude. He wasn't a Puritan. A Vonnegut check. We're talking about Billy Pilgrim. And the $2,000 clue? As a gem of a brother. Atticus, Atticus. Sweet home, Alabama. Player one? Yep. <laughs> Congratulations to you. You'll be continuing on to Final Jeopardy when we come back. Final Jeopardy still to come, and here's the category. National holidays. What are you going to wait for?
The final Jeopardy clue is June 23rd, National Day in this country, began as a celebration of the birthday of Grand Duchess Charlotte. Your response? And that will lose you. Here is what we wanted. Luxembourg. This <laughs> makes you our new champion, player one. So congratulations. Good game. Thank you so much for playing. Please welcome our contestant, player one. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Good luck to you in the Jeopardy round. For this game, the categories are as follows. Biology. The short form. Electric company. NBA retired jerseys. How about a little romance language? And Shakespeare. All right, let's get back into this. Player one has control of the board. Neurospora crassa is this type of fungus. It grows on bread, but in the wild is found on burned vegetation. Player one? Yeah! You are correct. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. Stomata. Leaf pores that take in this gas enlarge when its level in the air drops below normal. Okay, player one? Right. <laughs> Player one, choose again. To help make sure your brain stays fueled, give its cells less of this hormone for glucose uptake. Okay, Player one. Right. <laughs> you get to pick again, Player one. Linus Pauling found the structure of keratin, the main component of nails and this human body part. Yes, player one? Yeah! Right. <laughs> player one, choose again. About 25 species of this arachnid, most in the family Buthidae, have venom that'll kill you. 1,200 others sting like a bee. Okay, player one? Woo! You got it. <laughs> you get to pick again, player one. Bench presses build up the pecs. Short for these. It's player one. Woo! You are correct. <laughs> player one, back to you for our next selection. The Random House Historical Dictionary of American Slang has an 1896 citation of diff, D-I-F-F, -F, as short for this. Yes, player one? Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> Player one, choose again. 
Rad, meaning excellent, was truncated from this. Okay, player one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Please pick again, player one. The Cosmo girl doesn't just look good, she can have a convo, short for this. Yes, player one. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Player one, you pick again, please. One of the perks of my job is knowing that perk, meaning a benefit, is short for this. Okay, player one. That's right, way to go. <laughs> player one, you pick again, please. The world's first public electricity supply was provided in 1881 to a city in this country. Okay, player one. Right. <laughs> we return to you, player one. Using direct current, this U.S. metropolis's first electric supplier was the Pearl Street Power Station in 1882. Okay, player one. That's right, way to go. <laughs> player one, you pick again, please. Still around today, this power company was one of the first 12 companies included in the Dow Jones Industrial Average in 1896. Player one. Right. <laughs> Select again. Answer, the Daily Double. You are in the lead right now. Please enter your wager. Answer this. Here's some current info. Duke Energy, headquartered in this state, brings electric power to four million people. Hey, you're right. You get to pick again, player one. In 1882, this U.S. inventor opened a steam-powered electricity generating station. Okay, player one. Yeah! That is <laughs> Select again. Los Angeles Lakers, number 32. It's player one. Good. <laughs> player one, back to you for our next selection. Philadelphia 76ers, number six. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> That's correct. Player one, you pick again, please. Boston Celtics, number 33. Yes, player one. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Player one, back to you. Indiana Pacers, number 31. Player one. <laughs> Select again. New York Knicks, number 33. Okay, player one. Right. <laughs> player one, you pick again, please. Around the Vatican, you might be able to practice this source language of all Romance languages. Player one. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Player one, choose again. Of Catalan, Bulgarian, or Romanian, the one that is not a Romance language. Yes, player one? Yeah. Correct. <laughs> we return to you, player one. It's the most widely spoken Romance language in the world. Yes, player one? That's it. <laughs> player one, you pick again, please. Ligurian, Lombard, and Piedmontese are all dialects of this Romance language. It's player one. <laughs> hey, you're right. You get to pick again, player one. This extinct Romance language of Croatia shares its name with a dog breed. 
Player one? No. Here's the correct response. Dalmatian. You get to pick again, player one. This title queen uses an asp, a poor venomous fool, to kill herself. Yes, player one? Yeah. Good. <laughs> player one, back to you for our next selection. This moneylender asks, Hates any man the thing he would not kill? Okay, player one. Yeah. That's right, <laughs> way to go. Player one, choose again. He uses the word assassination for what he plans to do to Duncan. Yes, player one. <laughs> hey, you're right. Player one, choose again. Women in this king's play include Catherine, wife to the king, later divorced, and Anne, maid of honor, later queen. It's player one. Right. <laughs> and the last clue for $1,000. Characters in this play include the charming Rosalind and the sardonic Jaques. Okay, player one. Good. <laughs> the Double Jeopardy round will begin right after this. Categories for the Double Jeopardy round are... Leaf Me. Literature. Which President's Cabinet? Familiar Phrases? Ethiopian cuisine, and when they were in high school. All right, if you're ready, it's double jeopardy time. Some consider the Hannibal variety of these made from 100% Havana seed leaf the world's finest. Let's hear it, player one. Good. We return to you, player one. Bags of this leafy vegetable from Natural Selection Foods were at the center of a September 2006 E. coli outbreak. Yes, player one? You got it. <laughs> Player one, back to you. Like humans, leaves have an exterior epidermis and an interior arrangement of these vascular tissues. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> right you are. Select again. The macrocystis genus of this seaweed can grow fronds up to 200 feet long. Yes, player one? Yeah! Right. <laughs> you get to pick again, player one. This fragrant leaf of the laurel tree is sold commercially as a seasoning. Yes, player one? <laughs> is correct. Yeah! You again, player one. As this 1931 novel begins, Wang Lung travels to the house of Huang to fetch his bride. It's player one. That's right, way to go. <laughs> player one, pick again. Washington Irving based this character on his friend Jesse Merwin, a school teacher. It's player one. Oh. 
Here's the response we were looking for. Ichabod Crane. We return to you, Player One. Upton Sinclair's 1927 novel, Oil, was based on this presidential scandal of a few years earlier. Player One? Good. <laughs> Player One, choose again. In the Oxbow This, vigilantes hang three men falsely accused of cattle rustling. Yes, Player One? No. Here's the response we were looking for. Incident. We return to you, Player One. The title of this Steinbeck novel refers to a district above Monterey inhabited by Paisanos. Okay, Player One. Yes. <laughs> Player One, choose again. Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Let's hear it, Player One. No, sorry. Here's the correct response. Barack Obama. Player One, pick again. Secretary of State Dean Rusk, both JFK and him. Yes, Player One? Yeah! Yes. <laughs> Player one, back to you for our next selection. Secretary of Education, William Bennett. Secretary of State, George Shultz. Let's hear it, Player One. Right. <laughs> Player one, choose again. Secretary of Labor, George Shultz. Attorney General, John Mitchell. It's player one. Right you are. <laughs> we return to you, player one. Answer, one of the daily doubles. You are currently in the lead. Please enter your wager. The clue, Secretary of the Interior, James R. Garfield. Secretary of War, William Howard Taft. You got it. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Financially, it's the colorful opposite of in the red. Player one? <laughs> yep. We return to you, player one. A celebrity charity that auctions off designer outfits to benefit kids is called These off our back. It's player one. Correct. <laughs> player one, pick again. Poet who gave us, you're a better man than I am, Gunga Din. 
Yes, player one? Yeah. That's right, way to go. <laughs> player one, choose again. Slaves once dreaded being sent to the harsh plantations of the lower Mississippi, hence to sell someone here. It's player one. That's right, way to go. Select again. Originating in 1844's Settlers in Canada, this phrase about rowing a boat means to decide your own fate. Okay, player one. That's right, way to go. You get to pick again, player one. Similar to steak tartare, Kitfo is a cold ground beef dish that is served this way. Yes, player one? Yeah! Hey, you're right. <laughs> Select again. Tej is a type of this made with honey. Ethiopians think it was once shared by Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. Let's hear it, player one. Correct. <laughs> Select again. For Ethiopian meals, coffee is usually served in these small cups, from the French for half cup. It's player one. Woo! Yes. <laughs> Select again. Tef, similar to millet, is a type of this that comes from a plant grown in Ethiopia. Player one? Yeah! That is <laughs> Player one, pick again. Answer, <laughs> the other daily double. You are in first place, what'll it be? Answer, similar to the Indian ghee, niter kibbe is a clarified spice-infused type of this and is used in many dishes. That's correct. Player one, back to you. He ran track at Skyline High in Oakland. Good practice for the role of Forrest Gump. Yes, player one? <laughs> <That is correct. laughs> yeah. Woo. Player one, you pick again, please. As a teen in British Columbia, she said her goal was to be a California beach bum. She got her wish on Baywatch. Okay, player one. Yeah. Hey, you're right. <laughs> we return to you, player one. To make extra money, she sometimes cleaned out the tour bus for her mom, Naomi, and sister, Winona. Okay, player one. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. As a high school basketball star in Irvington, New Jersey, this royal rapper led her team to two state championships. Yes, player one? Yes. <laughs> now let's take a look at that $2,000 clue, shall we? He played quarterback for the Terrell High School Tigers before he won an Oscar for playing Ray Charles. Yes, player one? <laughs> Congratulations to you. You'll be continuing on to Final Jeopardy when we come back. Time to get ready for Final Jeopardy. And today the category is this. American Publishing. So, what's your wager? This is a good category. Here's the clue for you. The 1860 frontier novel, Malaeska, the first of its kind, sold 300,000 copies for total sales revenue of this. Let's see your response. And that correct response will add... This yeah! makes you our new champion, <laughs> player one, so congratulations.
Good game, everyone, and thank you so much for playing.